Today's recipe is the popular Unkobi. For list of ingredients used for this recipe, please click on the show more button below this video. As you can see, the cow foot I'll be using has already been cut into pieces. Now place the meat in a pot, add some onions, seasoning, a little salt and then cover and leave to cook until it's done. The meat should have little or no water in it when it's done. If yours has some water in it, you can strain that out. Now grind your edible potash or akamu, add a little water, mix thoroughly and set aside. Slice your vegetables. You can use otazi leaves or any close alternative. Remember that the leaves is simply for garnishing, so you just need a little. Also cut some onion rings and set aside. Prepare the other ingredients and also set aside. In a pot, add some palm oil and then add the mixed potash or a cow. You can strain your potash so that lumps of potash won't get into the palm oil. Add the mixed potash bit by bit until you get your desired thickness, but be careful not to add too much. Continue to mix thoroughly and then add the remaining ingredients such as the pepper, the ground ephiru, the crayfish and the stock cubes. Now mix thoroughly and then add the cooked cow food. Mix well and then leave to simmer on low heat for 5 minutes. it out in a bowl, add the ganaches and our unkobi is ready. Who said we can make unkobi at home, right? <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumb up by clicking on the like button below. You might also like this recipe on the Nigerian pepper soup. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.